Steven Swartz, president of Hearst Newspapers. In many ways, uh, Steven Swartz epitomizes uh, what this conference uh, is all about. And, and again, thank you very much, Steven, for coming. Um, you know, connecting uh, local audiences through digital and print media. And I have to say that Hispanic newspapers are extremely important in the sense that the circulation is uh, flat compared to 20% down, in the, almost 20% down in the general market. We don't separate it into, uh, into uh, you know, what we're doing specifically for our uh, Hispanic-oriented publications. We're, we're just trying to serve the market. So, you know, we, uh, both in Houston and in uh, San Antonio, uh, you know, we, 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 we know from our, our surveys that, that uh, our main product, the Houston Chronicle, uh, the San Antonio Express News and their websites have a have a, 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 a significant portion of their audience is the Hispanic audience, and then we do have specific targeted publications. Uh, we have uh, La Voz, which comes out on Sunday in Houston, which is which is in Spanish, and uh, Lloyd Ruiz, the manager of La Voz, is, is is here with us today. Uh, and in San Antonio, we 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 have our publication Conexión. And just uh, to, to suit the differences in the two markets, uh, that, that publication is predominantly uh, in, in, in English. But, you know, we believe in all of our publications and all of our websites uh, are serving the, the Hispanic uh, audience on a daily basis. I, I think without question, I, I, I think off the top of my head, our Sunday product in San Antonio reaches 43% of the Hispanic audience. Uh, uh, in a given week, I think our Houston Chronicle, with all of our products, uh, reaches about 34% uh, in, a, in a given week. So, you know, I, it, it's it's significant for us, particularly in Texas. Send reporters on a regular basis into Mexico to cover uh, 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 issues there. Uh, we had a, a big front page story on one of the border towns uh, in Mexico on the front page of the San Antonio Express News. So, uh, our view is that this is. This is this is this is daily life. We don't we don't look at it as special. Uh, this is this is core to what we do, and, and particularly in our Texas markets. Stephen, you have uh, been instrumental in building the Yahoo newspaper consortium. Uh, maybe for, for the people, many of, of it know about it here, but maybe you can summarize it briefly. Sure, Yahoo has been a great partner of newspapers, and it, it's something uh, that we, along with our colleagues at the Media News. Uh, company uh, uh, got started several years ago and then got great support from, from Elo and, and, and Scripps and Cox and, and many other companies. And now we have about 900 newspapers across the country working with Yahoo. We all use for display internet advertising the Yahoo apps platform, uh, which, which gives us a very strong uh, targeting capabilities on our own website. But perhaps what has become the most important aspect of the, uh, of the relationship is that all these newspapers sell Yahoo uh, uh, targeted advertising uh, in our markets to our local clients. And, uh, so we can sell our clients in the local market, search engine marketing, search engine optimization, video services, Facebook fan page services, advertising on Facebook, advertising on Yahoo. And of course, we package all that in with, with advertising on our core website, which in, in any market we're in is the largest local website. We package that, of course, with our still our flagship print product and, uh, and with our direct mail capabilities in our markets. And so our focus is to be a, a total solution for the customer. And that includes selling our products and where appropriate selling the products of others as well. Well, actually, we rebranded our sales forces across the country a couple years ago. And we refer to the sales force operation as Hearst Media Services. And uh, Hearst Media Services, Houston, Hearst Media Services, San Antonio. And, and within Hearst Media Services, there is the main newspaper, there is the, uh, the, the main website, and then there are, there are a whole a bunch of uh, uh, either, either print or, or direct mail or increasingly digital services or advertising of, of other people's products. Because what we're trying to be is the key uh, solution provider to our, to our clients media landscape, it's, uh, it's, it's just not credible to claim that only your products serve the customer's needs. 
what we're trying to do is be that 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 key trusted advisor for our clients, packaging in the appropriate level of, of media to help our clients reach the right audience. Uh, and do the do the other offerings even include radio and TV, or it's more digital? You know, we've never been able to, to to figure out how to do that, largely because in in our markets the the radio stations and the TV stations have their own sales forces. But what 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 we've been I think particularly successful in doing is packaging in the services of national players like Yahoo, packaging in. Uh, search engine marketing, clicks on Google and, and Bing and, and Yahoo and Ask.com, uh, you know, helping uh, our local clients understand the products of, of, of national companies uh, with very strong uh, audience in the local market but n with, without sales representatives in the local We're still better today at presenting what's in the paper in the paper. I, uh, you know, I'll get the uh, uh, papers delivered to my office and I get in pretty early and I'm often there way before the papers get delivered and so I've got my iPad and I'll look through and I'll, I'll flip through say the Financial Times on the iPad which I think is a great product but then the print comes and I'll, I'll often flip through that again and, and see stories that somehow I miss so, and, and I think it's, it's still true with advertising as well I think right as we sit here today we're we do a better job of positioning the print ads than, than, than we or, or any other of our colleagues in digital do. So uh, I think print still works, but clearly as, as various digital formats have come about, there's just a multiplicity of ways to reach audience and I would encourage everybody to, 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 to use them. Uh, to I understand that your, your uh, publications, your products are kind of like a sampling of what's going on around the U.S. and so far as consumer uh, buying habits and such. <clears throat> I'm wondering if uh, you would comment on whether there's a relationship between what you're seeing in the uh, flatness or improvements of your business and the impression I get is that in general the arrow is pointing up for your organization. A relationship between that and um, this country's economic condition in general as measured by uh, uh, the, the categories of advertisers in your publications, primarily consumers. I think that several categories have gotten better. You know, I, 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 I think that we were more hopeful that the overall whole uh, in terms of our business would be better and that we wouldn't have some key categories that are still quite soft. In regards to your paid wall, uh, some markets have gone that model and have lost as much as 40% of their audiences online. Um, how concerned are you about that? Well, my boss uh, appeared at, at a, another conference here this week, Frank Benick, and, and, and he said that we have no plans to put a so-called paywall around our website, and, uh, and, and that's absolutely correct. Um, I believe particularly when one thinks of local media, and I would draw a big distinction between, you know, the Financial Times or the Wall Street Journal or even, for the most part, the New York Times, I believe that in, a, in Houston or San Antonio, there is a, a, a vibrant, growing role for a, a, a free website as a community utility. A place that people can go on the web for breaking news, for traffic alerts, weather alerts, for uh, mass transit alerts where that's uh, applicable, for you know photo galleries of just nice things that are happening or interesting or funny things that are happening so you can get a quick quick lift during your day, for funny video or two, for for community blogs for hyper-local community information, and we're putting a great investment in that in our free websites in terms of using technology and aggregation techniques, as well as our own re reporting and relations in the community to, 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 to develop you know, these hyper-local niche sites that, 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 that are part of our main site, because after all, you know, some of the news that's absolutely most important uh, to people is, is the is the micro community that they actually live in, the school that their kids go to, the teams that their kids uh, play on. So. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I'm not doing a great job in this day.
place, and it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be associated with you. So thank you very much. And thank you all for, for, for having me and taking